suffice this whole game as a, as a prep bowl. Of course, both teams so. have brand new players on the rosters, so... These two teams definitely have a lot to prove today. And so I'd love to see if that comes out today and if we do stick to this Doomfist-centric composition coming out from the Vancouver Titans. Yeah, control is definitely a finicky one. As the point unlocks, Backbone unfortunately got boofed by Master. A lot of extra ult charge and uh, Sparker and Aspire do end up trading, but with the point unlocking and London Spitfire currently in control, I say that, they almost are about to flip it, but Hardy is still chasing down. Massa does find the kill. Quick respawn for the Lucio. As long as Landon doesn't go down, they should be good. That's Lamp himself after he glowed bright purple. Scripper is still making their way back. They need to wait for the spawners first before they attempt their next attack. They really only needed to throw the Amplification Matrix at that last fight, and they walk away with the bag here. And Psycho tries to find a quick pick onto Backbone, but Backbone making great use of those ice blocks now to be able to stay alive. Stripper does go down, there's the blade, there's the beat. The lamp's already been used. The Titans are gonna push forward, but they can't. The May ult is in the way, that giant snow globe just stops Aspire from getting too much done. The Spitfire still with a large control and a window coming up. Like, they're in a good spot. That was a lot of ultimates invested from Vancouver Titans to try and regain control of the point. Backbow does end up falling down to Master of all people. But the Spitfire, I think they're going to be happy to try and stall to 99 if they don't think they can win it. Window goes out, landing in trouble. False tried to dislodge him, but he is still healing the front line and Hattie is keeping the point in contestion. Psycho does end up going down as Sparker finds the kill and False gets hacked. Backbone comes back on the Sombra, disables the abilities of the Doomfist and the Lucio now. What a fantastic couple of manual hacks from the Sombra. London Spitfire, after those two kills, manages to find the first round. Yeah, super quick. Wow. That's a, a rather fast Blizzard. Yeah. But normally Blizzard, slow-ish ultimate to build up, especially in Overwatch 2, but... Babbo's doing a fair bit of damage, even beating Sparker to the punch. Those right clicks doing a whole lot of work. Yeah. I like the fact that you can cancel the Rhine charge now, so you don't have to send yourself to the death over the, <laughs> over the side of the map. Of course, we saw that a little bit earlier on, but you can get some nice tech on the cars too if you're rather cheap. <laughs> oh, Thunder no. boys will know all about that. Now, Blizzard available, tactical visor with the window. There's a lot of stuff going on. There's the Nano onto Pulse, jumps in, does get instantly frozen, or almost. He manages to get out just in time before the freeze actually connected and he was frozen solid. Pops the Primal Rage, kills Backbone. Psycho's gonna finish up with a nice couple of kills on the support line. What a fantastic fight from the Vancouver Titans. London's and what's tough about that position too, and the composition that London Spitfire are running is how do they touch that soldier? It's really not easy unless you get popped up by Backbone's Maywall or something. It's really tough to be able to dislodge Aspire from that location. And now it's looking mighty good here for the Vancouver Titans, where this Nano's going to cause a lot of havoc. There's the blade, Sparker in a little bit of trouble. The beat comes out just in time. Psycho trying to back off, doesn't want to donate his yeah, life just... Oh man, what a beautiful wall though from Backbone. Just stopping a lot of that damage from that tactical visor. It doesn't do a whole bunch anyway. Let's be real with ourselves here without that nano. Foles using that primal rage once again, forcing people away from that healing field. Overtime is here, and the Titans manage to find the flip. Spitfire need to find their way back onto the point. Sparker has the visor to utilize, but it's getting forced out completely. The Titans use that beat to push themselves forward. This might just be it. Landed a backbone, end up going down. Master staying alive on the point, and now it's Hardy, the last remaining player on the point. Well, before Admiral got there, he's got the beat. Ain't gonna happen. The Titans, they take round number two as they tie control up one each. And I don't want to say it, Rose. I don't want to say it. The Titans, you know, maybe a shadow of tomorrow creeping into today. They don't that and get back into the fight. Backbone once again forced out to use that block. They have Blizzard, they have Shatter, but Aspire is zoning the entire team with that visor right now. Admiral gets pushed back in by Master. What a fantastic boot, but they just need to finish that Lucio. They can't quite do it. Master eventually trades his like for like. The Titans still have ults to spare. So do London, but it looks like London right now, without their Lucio, they want to back off. That's okay. London's Spitfire got 73%. Master ends up trying, but Hardy's there with the hammer, swats him away like a fly. There's the window you were talking about, and actually a wall from Backbone to stop the Titans from getting in. They're just getting routed before they can even touch the point. The London Spitfire will find the first map here in the Bread Bowl. Wow.
Um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, Hottie is one of the most proficient Reinhardts, and so it makes a lot of sense to be able to play something that involves that particular hero. And then just in general, Reinhardt is so good in Overwatch 2 right now because it allows you to make some really quick rotations where you otherwise yep. might not be able to do so. Speaking of heroes, Rose, look what's on our screen right now. We have a little sojourn action from yeah. the spy. Not the worst thing ever either. I mean, you're shooting shields for a lot of it. You can see what a spy is doing. Shooting Hardy as much as possible, building up to those rails by doing damage on Hardy or the shields, and then going for those right clicks past Hardy, or at least attempting to, to pass Hardy. The Titans have lost two. Hardy is down, but still having London up and Sparker alive, like that's still a lot of consistent damage the Titans have to worry about. They've got Nano, but there's 10 seconds to go. His backbone is switched to the Tracer. He's going to be able to get that touch or contest for a little while, I suppose. There's the Nano. Landon's finally dead, but this time it took a lot more than just the Genji or the... Uh, the Lucio to get to the back line. Fox finds another one in Hardy and Sparker to follow up. The point is theirs, but that was quite an effort to get that done. Two minutes to get through to second point now. Yeah, the Titans still have to push that payload all the way near to second point. There's the Shadow. They try and block Master. What an unreal shield, but unfortunately it doesn't actually block the beat from getting on the rest of Master's team. Psycho has been nanoed and Backbone bites the dust. A nice duplicate onto the Rhine. However, only 300 HP isn't going to survive for too long. There you go. Instantly killed out of Copy without earning a single ult. Sparker, however, manages to not only kill that Copy, but Marsa too. And now False is back in the action. Was shattered earlier on, but it's overtime. Titans need to be able to continually touch the payload or they fear to lose the, or the point or the round, I suppose. False does end up going down and this is a rather feeble attempt now at Titans touching the point. There you go, round one done, with the Titans making it halfway to second point. You called out Hottie blocking Masa, so... Oh, oh, what? Whoa, where did Fos come from? It looked like he did a Doomfist roll out over the top and just <laughs> slammed Sparker's head into the ground. Nice shadow, bigger dragons though, look at that, ripping through the entirety of London Spitfire. Not only kind of separating them all, but there's a lot of damage on the Batiste force to use the lamp, and Landon does go down. What a nice play from the Titans, but these are the plays they're going to have to make. Three minutes to go, and the Titans... But Hadi now walking back with a potential Earth Shatter coming up here, and the last one left a lot to be desired, but... This time, this time for sure, especially with three minutes left on the clock. Vancouver Titans, oh no. Oh, what oh, a oh, disgusting no. dragons. They used that wall perfectly, and now they can just use the window. Master lets go of the beat a little bit late, not enough to save false or himself, apparently. Psycho's in the corner, defrosting. He's dead. Sky Ripper, I don't think, is long for this world either. There's the shatter. He does have a little bit of fancy feet jumps over it, but there you go. The London Spitfire 2-0 in the series. What a dominant performance so far. Oh, it's definitely keeping the London Spitfire at bay. That Widowmaker is being so oppressive right now. Oh, Backbone getting chased down. Hit that Venom Mine. A little bit of tick damage, plus Shotwave can see him through cover. They trade False for Admiral. False has really been the punching bag of the Vancouver Titans to start off with. But now the London Spitfire have a whole lot of space. Hardy used that Primal Rage to boot Mars and Backbone as he finishes him off with the reset dash. And now Shockwave in trouble too. However, so this time might be a little bit more difficult. Has got the Nano, but another fantastic sleep. Okay, who woke him? Okay, Sparker with the Nano Visor. False has to play a little bit more scared. Aspire just gets obliterated by Sparker's just raw aim. And Backbone will help the team finish the rest of Titans off. Shockwave does have the sights, but does not have the angles. And there's a little help to his team that far away. Yeah, just, just run away from it. That's fine. It did force out the sound barrier from Masa, though. And who okay. Look at this nasty angle that Shockwave has been able to find here. Just being it's quite close to spawn, so he can be thankful for that, I suppose. Nice little headshot on to Hardy. In fact, another one. Oh, okay. Hardy has to play around his bubble. B is coming out. Hardy receives that one a little bit late. I was worried for his life just then. But are they going to be able to make use of it? I don't think so. It looks like the rest of the Titans decided, nope, speed boost out with Master's ult. All right, Master's... Another boostio. Another boostio! <laughs> Admiral, you better be getting some kills, buddy. He's going in. I think that Nano was supposed to land on the monkey. I would be very surprised if it was aimed at uh, the Lucio specifically. Hardy pops the primal range to find uh, 
something, but he does end up getting slept. Faust using his two also ends up uh, retreating to the rest of his team as uh, Hardy's trying to bully them. Landon takes out Marsa eventually, and the Spitfire are continuing to push the payload. Quite close to second point, the sights have been activated from Shockwave, who's now on the lower right angle, trying to find somebody. Can spot Lucio on the payload, but that is about it. A nice boop kill onto Aspire, who got nade as he tried to cause some disruption in the back line. So close to that blade, too. He has to get back ASAP. The Vancouver Titans could hold on to this, but with false being anteed, I don't think anything can really happen. Plus, Hardy, Using that bubble to stop all that healing coming through. False does end up going down eventually as Shockwave has found himself on the other side of the map. Aspire used the blade but gets instantly killed as the Vancouver Titans, a little bit too scattered to make anything work. Spitfire, they got a second point, have yeah. also been on point. That's the one thing that I really love about Landon's playstyles that, you know, a lot of times we see Ana players just kind of save that nano for a big play. But also sometimes that big play can just be, be allowing one of your teammates to survive. So, good stuff. Very early beat here for the Vancouver Titans as Bolsh just gets burned down. So close to that Primal Rage, I'm assuming he thought he would have it online. Shockwave just taking a beating in the front line. Scarif Nano, uh, Shockwave once again to try and stop him from going down. It's just about Nano and these soldiers. These are the targets that the players are jumping on. I mean, seeing Scaripa and Lund uh, Landon doing the same thing, just nanoing the soldier to keep them alive as soon as they get jumped on. One minute and 30 seconds to go. False has that Primal, but the Admiral beat is gonna put London Spitfire in a very good position if they can actually use a lot of this overhealth for something. Badbone has the blade, but is now getting bullied, not only by Aspire, but by False. Meanwhile, Shockwave is just making a nuisance of himself on the high ground. Use that visor to quite good effect. A nice little defect there from Backbone stops him falling, but that anti-nade will make sure he doesn't get the double kill onto Shockwave. Shockwave, meanwhile, just runs away and just kills the backline of the London Spitfire. And now with 60 seconds to go, the Vancouver Titans are a couple of meters away. Admiral is cleaned up. Aspire in the kill feed. And they should be getting this second point. There it is. It took a little while, but they finally got it in. A couple of meters to go, though. Titans still very winnable. Still could get it to this second point. But I've got to be rather nervous. If I look at that old bank, and luckily we can. Titans can't. Landon close that nano. That blade is so close. Even if Backbone uses the blade to get out the sound barrier again from Masa, that's major value. That's a super late beat from Marsa. Like, way too late, that feels like. Sky River and Aspire already died. And now they're, I guess they make a little bit of space, but not really much else. False doesn't even get out alive. And now they don't need to worry about the beat for this final fight, and they have Nanoblade. That was exactly what the London Spitfire wanted. Nothing now to stop that Nano Blade. And even the Nano from Skyrepa, well, it can only save one. Is it going to be the Nano Tac Visor? Are we just going to see that powerful combination of ultimates come together? There's Nano. Well, there it is. There's Nano. There's Visor. It kills Lander before. Oh, no. Oh, he's trying to get back on. Get him. Get him. Don't dice with him, though. You dare, he'll boop you off. The payload is still moving, by the way. Titans are on it. They are contesting. However, a spy is so low. Has to hit the recall. Pulse bomb, so close. They know they need to wait for London to come back. So London Spitfire have to play a little bit more passive. Sparker not quite so lucky, but Hardy pops the primal rage. There's the survivability and the damage that they need. Aspire and Master fall. Shockwave trying to enter that new spawn. But unfortunately, you haven't unlocked it yet, buddy. A big sleep onto False as he pops the Primal and a wave goodbye. Landon sleeps the monkey, no contest, and the London Spitfire 3 0 the Titans.